Hi everyone, it's Niall from amstradnoob.com and today we're going to take a look at this CPC UE tape from youmakerobots.com. Right, so what is it? It's um, yet another new device uh, made especially for Amstrad CPC that you can connect to either a CPC 6128 or a 464 and it basically replaces the function of the tape drive in the 464. Uh, I did say you can connect it to a CPC 6128 as well and uh, first of all let's try it with a 464 and see how it works. I haven't even tried it yet. I've just read about it online. I've talked to the creator, Ricky, who's a very nice guy, um, very helpful. Uh, this is a really nice 3D printed case. As you can see, there's some icons here, I guess, for play and, and so on. Uh, there's a slot right here for an SD card, and it shouldn't be a fast one. It shouldn't be a Type 10, I think. So a slow, cheap SD card should do. Um, what else? We have an old style USB port there to provide power to the device because we don't actually plug it into the CPC. And we have a uh, three and a half millimeter port there for plugging in this adapter here. And that's only when you're connecting it to an Amstrad CPC 464. So this adapter, uh, it's a CD car cassette adapter. This adapter, you plug it into the CPC 464 tape player, and then you connect it up to this uh, CPC UE tape device. And that should replace the functionality via an SD card of your, um, your tape deck. And as I said, this also works with a 6128, maybe even a 664, by simply connecting this to the uh, tape in uh, on your 6128. So let's try on a 464 first. Now, as I said, I haven't tried it yet, so it's a learning experience for me as well as for you guys. But here I have an SD card on which I've copied a whole bunch of games. Hopefully I did it right. I downloaded a bunch of CDT files, which is the Amstrad tape uh, format, CDT. Okay, so it just clicks in there. And this was one of those cheap SD cards, so not a good one. And the next thing I'm gonna do is connect the USB cable that was provided. So actually what came in the box was the device itself, the cable for connecting to USB power and the adapter if you're going to use it on a 464. So let's try connecting it all up. Plug in the old style USB here and let's connect it to a power source and I have a power source here luckily enough. This device itself is based on something called the Max Duino project. Oh, and you can see there's a little LCD there. It started off by showing an Amstrad logo. And now I guess this is 3600 board. There's an ID and block. M on, percent on. I have no idea what any of these things are for. I don't even know if these are, well, these are actual buttons. Wow, how about that? Okay, so next we need to connect our um, CD car cassette adapter into the tape deck of the Amstrad 464. So let's do that. And then let's just connect this. Okay. So in it goes, like so. Right, so it just slots in and you're supposed to leave the tape deck open, as I can see. And then we connect this to the three and a half millimeter jack. 
on the CPC CPC UE tape. So let me see, can, you, can I show you what the display looks like when I connect to the power? There you go, there's the arm strap. And it's scrolling. Hopefully that's in focus. Okay, so like I said, I've copied on some games onto it. Um, the next thing we're gonna try and do is uh, tell the Amstrad to, to start playing the game. And I think that's control and enter. Oh, control enter, there we go. So run plus press play, then any key. And if I try and use this interface here, ah, there we go, see that, games. Now there should be a folder on here called, called CDT files. That's the one I created earlier, see that? And I'll do a separate blog post or something on this uh, telling you where I found these files uh, that you can download and there's thousands of them. Do this again, games. Amstrad CDT files, click OK, click OK to this one. And then let's flick through some games and pick a game that hopefully works. Grand Prix, oh, that should be interesting. I'm pressing play on the device, press play again. So press play to select it, press play again, and then play is selected here. Let's press a key. So. Don't hear anything. Oh, there we go. Ah, look at that. So this is basically a, almost like, um, um, one of those digital WAV players or MP3 players, which is playing Amstrad specific file formats. So CDT file formats. It also does dot tap, I think. And of course, it's working at exactly the same speed as a regular tape drive. So you're probably wondering, well, why is this useful? Well, it means that all those CDT files that you have, you can play using this device. You don't need a working uh, tape deck to do this. Check that out. Um, all it needs is the sound, which it's playing from the device onto here into the read head. So actually it doesn't even need to turn. It does turn in this case because my tape deck actually works, but it doesn't even need a working tape deck in that regard. So this is going to take some minutes. Uh, I'll pause the video right here and I'll resume once it's loaded. Okay, as you can see, the game is loaded. It took a few minutes, uh, just as it would on a regular tape. Um, and unfortunately, I picked one of the worst games I've ever seen. Because <laughs> it's just, um, yeah, I haven't figured out how to change the gear. We can see it's in neutral there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I had it working a minute ago. Let's see. Oh. I can accelerate. I'm in neutral still. No idea how to change the gear. So I'm accelerating this game. Not the best. Okay, let's try another game. I'm trying another game. This time it's 1942 from Elite. As you can see, it's loading. Just like a real tape, except it's loading from the SD card, which is amazing. And I think I have, I don't know, 3,000 games on this one. Many, many games. So I had a chat with uh, Ricky, who I said is a really helpful guy. And he explained that if you want to connect this 
to the CPC 6128, you need to use the tape uh, socket on the left side of the 6128, uh, which I'll show you now. That's basically, here's the 6128, and on the left side you have tape input there but you need a cable for that it's available on ebay and i will link to it i don't have that specific cable so i can't test it today but um that's how it works on the 6128 and there the 1942 loading screen has loaded Look at all that color, 1986. Haven't computers come along a long, long way? I mean, that's the thing about kids today. They don't understand what it was like for us growing up in the 80s, uh, waiting for our games to load from tape. If you had an Amstrad CPC 464 and it, in some cases, the tape would bomb out at the end, which was really depressing. So when the 664 and 6128 came out with their disk drives, of course, they were amazingly popular because they were faster than the tape and more reliable. So I bought a 6128 at the time, probably around 86. Okay, we're at 42%. <laughs> So, as you can see here, or maybe you can see, um, it says playing 45%, and it lists the game that we're playing as well. Really cool. Very nicely built device. Cool retro technology, very nicely 3D printed case. You can see Ricky has put a lot of work into this. So do him a favor, check out his website, youmakerobots.com, and look at what he has. And buy something. I've also noticed that there's a little tape counter here. So in addition to it giving you the percentage of how far it's come in uh, loading the game, you've got a little counter here, just like you have on a tape deck which is a nice little touch. See that? And there's the file name that you're playing, 1942.cdt. And um, not really sure what the ID11 means. I guess BLK is block, block zero, block one. And M, no idea what that is. This could be the board rate. Yep, yeah, I guess I should have RTFM'd first. Also, I'm not sure what that um, cable is, or that connector is for. The one beside the uh, three and a half millimeter jack. Ta-da! Okay, zero, keyboard. Up. Let's see, up. Yeah. Am I supposed to do some? Let's try this. Down, okay, left. Okay, that's weird. That is weird. Um, one player. Can't even remember what keys I defined now. Wow. What an amazing game. Uh, let's see. Left and right is not working, even though I defined it. I think this is kind of buggy. Yeah. Wow. What happened here? I killed it. Okay. So, great. Um, if you want to try out the Amstrad CPC UE tape to give you the ability to play 
hundreds of thousands of CDT files, your collection, via an SD card onto your 464 or 6128 or even a 664, I think, then check it out. You make robots.com. Cool device. Thanks, Ricky, uh, for sending it to me. Um, I'm definitely going to play with this some more and see what I can learn from it. Lovely hardware. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.